Welcome back to the Long Dark Science Experiments. Oh dear, it appears to be very early morning. We're still in the house. And we're fully rested, so let's take care of our food. Sort by condition. Energy bar, let's eat that. Turkey, yeah, that's questionable. And sardines as well. Uh, do we have antibiotics? <sighs> so our weight is down quite a bit. Let's take a look what we have for tools. We have the improvised knife don't seem to have the improvised hatchet with us. I thought we brought that. I think we may have dropped it at the bridge back at the uh, crossroads. So, let's see if we can find our way out in the dark. Do we in fact have a torch? We have a flare. this anymore. Okay, well, can't, can't look out the windows, can't see anything out there, so I used to, go, I thought that used to go out to the perch, but it doesn't. Or no, that one's the one I thought used to go to the porch, this one is the one that goes out to the porch. See how light it is out here and how stormy. Oh, look at that. That doesn't look good. There's the hacksaw. Okay. Well, what do we have in here? Uh, cure deer hype. We're going to need that. And we don't need all this stuff. Antibiotics. Just bring, just bring that, the low condition ones, these ones, because that's all we're going to need. There's four and six, we don't need those. Okay. We have the bow and arrows. 18 simple arrows. We should have a weapons tab, you know. We have five. Let's bring more arrows. Okay. That's all of our arrows. 
So, I don't think we're going to be able to chart. Low visibility. Yeah. Do we really only have five of those charcoals? Yes. Yes, we do only have five. That's right, because we picked them up here. And uh, we should make fire in here. And uh, get some more... Get some more... Um, That will uh, that will make we might as well make lots of water. So that will be done in two hours. So we need to find something to do for two, for two hours. So let's look at uh, we can actually take that water and treat it with. Uh, disinfectant tablets. So let's look at our clothing, see what can be repaired. Oh, that sounds encouraging. We require cloth. Well, that cloth was left out here. And it's full daylight now. 16 cloth. I think it's good. Another stove out here. You could really go to town with cooking, you know. No charcoal in there, but there's some reclaimed wood and, and uh, that thing there, so you could you could still get some. Now the fastest way to the barn is over this hill, and the barn is where the archery uh, target is. I think what we'll do is go up to the top of this hill here and chart. And we need to get to over there to the barn. So that's at an angle to this river a little bit. Yes, that way. Well, let's boogie. So 
And let's have a little break. We'll take a drink of water. see it. Came from that way. I don't see an arrow. He was behind here. And there's our arrow there. 43%. No. Let's make our way. We can uh, chart this now. Let's see, what do we... We're here somehow. Oh, we're... Now that's the barn there, so we're it's off to our right now. So that is that way. So if we go up this hill here. The wind is starting to pick up on us again. And there's the barn over there. Do another chart. Get back our breath. Much better. Strange. Chart about half ways. Which is the crest of this little hill here. about the distance we can run. I'm gonna crouch down here, get out of the wind. Okay, well that puts us closer to the barn. There's the archery target. And it's nice and big too. Just about the size of a deer. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, look, there's more arrows here too. Five arrows. Oh, broken one. Sixty 
23, 29, 33. Well, we may have to So this is more or less point blank. Let's let's drop a hide here. See how it compares. Okay, the hide is just a little bit more than the width of that thing, so it's about to there, I'd say. Right about there. And here, right about here. We need a way to make our, uh, our cursor show up when we're shooting, so we'll take this with us. And let's go back. Okay, so that corresponds approximately to, where's my radical things here, halfway between those two marks there, so that should be, yeah, my radical's right on that mark there, so right about there. Just a tiny bit to the left there. There, just about right. Okay, let's see how I did. Nope. Three bulls. Nineteen. Eighty-three. So, let's go further back. Back to about here. Yes, we can easily get that close to a deer, I think, before they before they panic. Let's see. And that's about there. there so my reticles right on the outside of the white part of the targets those are the two vertical lines that I used to line up the aiming when I was calibrating it so yeah so that one went a little to the left okay now we're going to go back to the farthest range we can and uh, have a shot there it's gonna be back there you're gonna see how much this arrow is gonna arc question is going to be how far can we realistically shoot this thing so that's about it there just a little high so we'll 
it's just down a little bit. And I'm adjusting down a little bit each time. Okay, clearly these bottom calibrations are a little bit too low. Yeah, that one's good. How many of them did I get in? Two. And the rest, I think, went over. Yeah, that one went there. This one went way out here. Oh, this one's broken. This will come in handy. Does it show up in broken stuff? Yeah, we got two broken ones. Simple arrow, broken arrow. Let's harvest that one too. I don't want them to lose any more condition. I don't know if they can. Uh, we might as well harvest this. This one's going to break next time. I guess we can use it one more time. And the rest of our arrows. Where are the rest of our arrows? Oh yeah, down there. 23. We've got 23 really good ones that haven't even been used yet. So I think we're using up the low condition ones. Whatever that. Okay. The final thing, we've sort of established our maximum range. So, I think our maximum range is going to be somewhere out by this. By this rock here. We could perhaps get up on the rock. Ooh, where's our target? Way the heck out there. Okay. Well, if I aim there, still puffing and huffing and puffing. So, what should we do? We should chart. Okay. Somewhere about there. Is that running like that? Rabbit or a wolf? You saw him over there, right? Okay, let's go. Can't be even that close.
Well, we... Well, they all landed in the same spot, which is beyond the target. So we overshot the target there. So our range can go even farther past where we were last time. Which is here. I think if we put a reticle right on the top of that tree, the big pine tree here, we put it about up there. That's too far. So let's go down about halfways. Halfways there. Just to the right a smidge. down a little bit more take another shot go down a little bit more take another shot so what we're doing there is bracketing we'll see which one got closest Six. Thirty-seven. Ten percent. Did anyone go past? No. Yes, one did. So I can't remember what I said we did. <laughs> I should write it down, huh? Well, good thing is... We're recording everything. So, I think this is about the maximum of our effective range. In which case... That would be just about right there. The edge of that tree is just about perfect dead center. So let's try that. Oop, too high. So there. Halfways between. And get that white dot right on the tree. Still too high. We'll put that mark there right on it. Put the white dot on the edge of the tree. Are we shooting high again? Something's making me feel tired. Yes, yeah, not even one score. And all the arrows are over here. That one's one percent. There should be a few more out here, no? Perhaps I'm too tired. And that is why I cannot hit anything. Well, I don't see... I thought we took three shots there. Perhaps our fatigue is affecting our marksmanship here we should be doing better than that. We should be hitting it. Especially at this range. So let's go down here. Try this again. This time we're much closer. Oh. 
vehicle. Okay, that's putting the white dot right on it. See, that was the white dot right on the target at that range. That range was right about there, wasn't it? Or was it there? Uh. I don't know. Let's see here. So, it was right on there. Okay, at this range, which is right here, we are right on the money at the little white dot okay now I'll pace it off maybe five and this one is 26 so there's some random order in how it's choosing these okay let's go back here okay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven paces. Okay. So I'm going to have to redraw these lines. Because, uh, hmm. calibrate this thing again you know what it's just about lined up with the feet of that target or more exactly with these two these two posts right here they're just about right on for the width of that deer so that's why I think my uh, shots have been miscalibrated a bit. So let's go about here. This looks like our. Yeah, that looks like. That's about as close as we can get without scaring them. And then we had that there. So that corresponds to. Doo -doo -doo. So that needs to be redrawn there. So let's do that and get our So I'm going to hold right on the blue line there. The dots on the blue top of the blue circle. Ooh, and it's dropping a lot. So we have to adjust up. So I'm going to go there. And that's high. So a little bit down. That's perfect. Right there. So and erase all that stuff. Mark this like this. And then put a line across here. Horizontal line between those two vertical lines I just drew on each side of that uh, target, the paper target. Paper target is pretty close to a deer in size, just under. So, and this is our probably our closest range we can get to them. So let's go see if, if we can hit anything with this. And 
where's our our range where it's dead on? It's about here, isn't it? where the dots just about right on or it's just a little tiny bit low yeah hard to say isn't it drop something on the ground here. Uh, what can we drop? Let's drop a flare? I don't want to really drop any of those things. I'm going to drop this. Okay. So this should be the perfect range for White dots right on. Oh, come on, get it on there. So sensitive, just to the right of the center. A little tiny bit off. Okay. Just a little tiny bit up. So back here. That's center there. So it's just a little bit up from there. that line is actually very good it's from here here to here the white dot on the thing oh it's moved dots on the center of the yellow okay so I draw a line here on the right hand side of the target another line on the left hand side of the target that's just a little bit further so that's the width I'll erase that and do it again that's the width of our deer at this range and elevation okay and then this down here to one below it is at our maximum approach distance which is about half that so let's see if I can hit it again from here come on get over there it's too sensitive should change the most sensitivity shouldn't I there. Okay. Let's go and check it. Oh yeah, they're all good. Okay. Now to go and apply this to a deer. What time is it? Near sunset. And guess what? There's probably no deer around this area. Let's take this with us. We need to sleep. So the farm is 
that away, isn't it? And the road is over there. I think. But if we do a little sketchy here, oh, we have no more charcoal. bed in this place is this truck which is lucky for us and there's no charcoal in it we already got the charcoal didn't we do we leave a hatchet here by any chance I don't think we did but it's worth checking we have left it in here oh dog food Look at our food supplies. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some dog food. I can tell you right now. Dog food, good stuff. Okay, and we're good and thirsty and hungry, so that means we can eat one of these pops. Use it up, satisfy some of our thirst. Get our weight down a little bit. Here's another one. That should just about slake our thirst. Uh, and now we need to eat some... Something's uh, making me feel really tired. Some of this dog food. That dog food seemed to be satisfying our thirst a little bit there. And we have some herbal tea here. We could cook up some herbal tea somehow. We can uh, craft some of these arrows up. Drawers are all empty. What's in here? Just scrap metal. So what can we make? Simple arrow? We need arrow shafts. We have three arrow shafts. Oh, we have zero arrow shafts. That's the problem. So we can't make new arrows without birch arrow shafts. So we're going to have to find those before we can repair anything. Anyways. We can do some research while we're here. We seem to be stuck. Yeah, so you can move over small small impediments like those planks. They're only a couple inches high, but other stuff seems to be more more tricky. So let's look at our uh our our books. Okay, so we have two books and sewing. So sewing, archery, and wilderness kitchen. Well, obviously, we want to learn archery. So we're at level two, and this should get us to level three, shouldn't it? So let's research. You can't focus when you're this tired. Oh, gee whiz. That means we're going to lose light, too. What time is it? We have enough time for a short nap. A sh really short nap. We could make coffee if there was wood. And there are cases here, but can we break them down? One hour. Oh my goodness. And how much wood did we get? Four woods. Well, that, that's worth it. And that much fire will give us um, another charcoal, for sure. And uh, we'll use a tinder plug. 80% chance. If 
Fire Striker 95. Magnifying Glass 0. Wooden Match is 85. Fire Striker does this, the ticket, doesn't it? But if we had a book. Ooh, we can't use that one. We use a stick, we have 95. If we use accelerant. 100% chance. And we're not going to burn any of those. No, no way. So let's put on. We have a recycled tin can. And we're going to make coffee, I think. We have one coffee. Yeah, here's coffee. So let's make that. Ten minutes. We've got ten minutes to wander around here. Look for wood. Oh, there's a bunch of water here. Should get us a little bit of we'll just cook that. And since we have this beautiful fire for three hours, if we have enough. We may be able to read. So let's try. Ooh, that sounds good. I think we cook this. We'll get another. We'll get another tin can. feel better. So let's uh, cook some more coffee. Eh? What do you say? We have so much coffee. Silly. And we have a hot cup here. Let's try to drink it. I'm not going to be able to drink it, so we'll drop it. after we uh, research for a little while and uh, too bad we don't have a cooking pot how much time have we got two hours left and it doesn't look like there's much else that we can break down here so we're gonna have to research for two hours and we have two cups of coffee let's drink that
drink that one. Let's look at our hand. We still have them. hours and seven minutes. So I propose we read a book. That would be this one. Two hours. I think I need to lay down. Too dark to read. Get yep, our fire went out. Oh dear, where is the truck? We're going to need light. Not a flare. Okay, let's go over here. sleep the full night through but hopefully the weather's nice so we can go out and maybe find a beer a, a deer to shoot at oh crappy weather well let's drink that and see what happens there. 
pick those other ones up last time? I don't know. They didn't appear to be drifted by the wind at all, so the wind didn't seem to affect the top of them. Broke our arrow, bow and arrow. So we're gonna have to go looking for maple saplings now. Yeah, that one. Uh... So they went a little bit high that time. Interesting. So where can we find maple saplings? Let's see. Which way is back to the farm? That's back to the road over that way. And here's the trail. So that means that there's birch trees over there. And do we have enough food? Hmm. What's this? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of food, so. And let's check our uh, status here. Uh, did we leave food here? I don't know if we did. charcoal here. Only three? Food, 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 where is the food? We're gonna have to kill something. And we didn't bring a rifle. This could get dicey. Okay. Oh yeah, we got tar food. Okay. We'll take this and we'll go off in quest of Birch saplings and maple saplings. I'll leave that recycled tin can there. Half liter. Off we go. Turn left and away we go. So what do we have for maps here? And what what is our inventory? What are we carrying? 31. Well, we've got a lot of bows and arrows, don't we? They're not bows, but arrows. So we may as well leave the arrows here. And where are we going to put them? Where's the container down here? Let's harvest those things. Oh, it's ruined. That's going to disappear. We can harvest this one. We get two feathers and two arrowheads. As soon as we put that in there, it's going to disappear. Yep, see? Gone. Poof. And, uh, 
we'll put these crafting materials like these arrowheads we'll put them in this drawer here I see along with that stuff uh, so where have we got our craftable stuff eight arrowheads and uh, where's the arrowheads four arrowheads We get three charcoals. So that's it. We're gonna have to go and I don't know if we could find a hatchet here. But if there's no hatchet anywhere here, that is not good. Not good news. Go back to crossroads. I think we may have left it there. So maybe we'll make that a higher priority. We seem to have we seem to have daylight. Yeah, it seems to be early midday. We're pretty well rested. So let's go. Head back to the crossroads. You yucky weather. There's the road over there. Okay, let's take a look at our map here. Yeah, so we should be off here somewhere. Let's get over here. When we get to the road, we'll chart. I think we need to, we need to chart up here. Please be a hatchet in this car up here. That would be nice. Odd, we haven't encountered one knife or hatchet yet on, on Pleasant Valley. It hasn't been really rich. But we haven't gone downstairs in the house. You know, that's the other place we haven't checked. And, and it's locked. And we've been in here before. bridge there's another bridge over what the heck hmm. so we're at this bridge and there's another bridge over there hmm. if we head halfway down this road to about here that's about two runs down there side of that rock I have a feeling that's going to be does that fill it in a bit more uh, yeah a little bit more not quite it didn't go quite far enough so We're going to go to the other side of that rock there. Hopefully we'll pick up these two rocks. They'll serve as, they'll serve as landmarks. These big rocks here. I'm 
it's just about going to take care of all the charcoal, isn't it? Real crossroads. So we didn't quite get close enough here. Uh, and uh, those rocks don't seem to... What's that thing? Ricey mushrooms, eh? So they were right back there is ricey mushrooms. Yep. Here they are. Hmm? Yep, there they are. Ways here. Let's, let's consult our map. Yeah, we were within visibility there. So let's. Uh, what do I hear? Oh, we're out of charcoal. Well, there's more charcoal up here. As well as more firewood. I don't if I recall correctly we left some stuff on this bridge we were fatigued we wanted to get back to the to that cabin up there but I do not see anything here Here's a wolfie. Storm lantern. Empty, empty. We've searched everything here. Oh, it's got something in it. Oh, granola bar. Take care of that right now. Any rifle bullets? No luck. Tools don't do us much good. No water left. No good stuff. That'll come in handy. Disinfectant. Painkillers, you will take those. Alrighty. Well, there's nothing here. And we can't make a fire in that, so we can go get the charcoal out of this campfire we left down by the waterfall. either.
Where did we make our fire? It's down here. And we have sunshine boys and girls. So that means we can definitely make fire with our magnifying lens. Certainly we're moving very slowly here. Our fire was on that side over there. Wasn't it? Check this guy. Nope, we have not. No keys. Very windy here. Seems to be windy. Well, I think our only option is to head up to fishing place and get some fish. Big charcoal. Harvested too. I don't hardly see worth the effort. Start a fire. Uh, so we have 17 sticks. Our weight is 33. Uh, let's just head up, head up the hill, and we'll get to that campground up there beside the fishing hut. We'll do a little fishing. Fortunately, there isn't any place to sleep up there. So... We have daylight. And we can research while we're here. We can get more charcoal as well. We start another fire. We start another fire over here. Find some wind shelter. Where can we have a, a windless fire? coming from that direction so it means on that side this side of a house and the house with the bed is this one over here so by reduction this is where we're going to have to so we're at crossroads we've got a blank if we, we could map up that way but uh 
Okay. We can map up to the end of Commuter's Lament here as well. Let's do that. Computer's Lament? There's a dead end up here. If I recall correctly. go quite a bit further, couldn't it? I just need to close my eyes. We'll get up by that big rock up there and we'll chart again. I think we're coming to the end of the map up here. Charcoal. Okay, well that fills out the map quite a bit. I mean it's going that way. The other option is to find another bow. You can't really repair them. You can craft new bows. So and we have guts, so that's the good news. Hey, is that two bears? That's two bears. gun behind. Oh, we we so thoughtless. Because I think because we were carrying a ton of arrows. So this is going to be most wind shelteriest spot. This side here is the most wind shelteriest spot. See? Yep, wind shelter. Let's make a fire. Let's use 85%. And if we add accelerant, it's better. Oh, don't tell me the wind is coming up. Alright. You know the fire on the outside can warm the inside? If you build a fire right next to where the bed is, that's a three hour fire. Should get three chunks of firewood out of that. And do we have anything we need to cook? What do we got? Just a cup of coffee. So 
collect and make some more coffee. That one. Cup of coffee. Drink that. We do not have any plate. We, that's the only tin cans we have. So I don't think we can. We have a dog food here. Open the dog food and see what we get. And that's going to fill us up. But it's not completely. Kind of wet dog food. So that's why it boosts our. Uh, We could research right here by this fire. It's a two hour fire. We have a little bit of sun left. Your temperature is five. So it's quite warm here. So let's do a little bit of research while we can. Archery. It's get dark. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Oh, we're too tired now. Let's make some coffee. And we'll drink this cup of coffee that we have on us. It should bring us back a little bit from fatigue. You know, we're sort of half brain dead. 32 minutes left on the fire. Let's try and research. Try and research if we can. can no longer use that one, so archery skilled level 3, awesome. So when we have some charcoal here, we got four charcoals, oh awesome. Let's go inside and rest. And that should be enough for tonight. Shut off recording.